Giraffe Large African hoof mammals in the genus Giraffa include the giraffe. It is the world's largest ruminant and the tallest living terrestrial animal. The Giraffa camelopardalis was once thought to be the sole species of giraffes, with nine other subspecies. The most recent studies on their mitochondrial and nuclear DNA, as well as morphological measures, suggested splitting them into up to eight existing species. From the fossil record, seven other extinct species of giraffe are known. The giraffe's extraordinarily long neck and legs, horn-like ossicones, and spotted coat patterns are its most distinctive features. It belongs to the family giraffidae, along with the okapi, the closest living relative. Its sporadic range is from Somalia in the east to South Africa in the south and from Niger in the west. Typically, savannas and wooded areas are home to giraffes. They eat the leaves, fruits, and flowers of woody plants, mostly acacia species, which they browse at heights that are inaccessible to most other herbivores. Giraffes may be preyed upon by lions, leopards, spotted hyenas, and African wild dogs. Giraffes are social and may congregate in big groups. They live in herds of related females and their young or bachelor herds of unrelated adult males. Males create social hierarchy through necking, a type of conflict in which the neck is a weapon. Dominant men are able to mate with females, who are alone in charge of nurturing the offspring. Due to its unusual look, the giraffe has fascinated many ancient and contemporary cultures. It is frequently depicted in artwork, literature, and cartoons. It has been eliminated from many areas of its former range and is listed by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, as being vulnerable to extinction. Although there are still giraffes in several national parks and wildlife reserves, it is estimated that there are only 97,500 of them left in the wild as of 2016. 2010 saw more than 1,600 animals held in zoos. Evolution Only the giraffe and the okapi are surviving genera in the family giraffidae of the order Artiodactyla. With more than 10 fossil genera described, the family once had a larger geographic scope. The neck lengthening appears to have begun early in the giraffe ancestry. According to comparisons between giraffes and their prehistoric cousins, the vertebrae closest to the skull lengthened first, then the vertebrae further down. Canthumrix, whose deposits have been discovered in Libya, is one early giraffid progenitor. It has been estimated to have lived between 25 and 20 million years ago, Maya, 17 to 15 Maya, or 18 to 14.3 Maya. This creature was around the size of an antelope, with a light build. On the Indian subcontinent, Giraffacrix first appeared between 15 and 12 million years ago. It had a longer neck and similar ossicones to an okapi or a small giraffe. 9. It's possible that Giraffacrix belonged to the same lineage as larger framed giraffids like Civitherium and Bramatherium. In Africa and Eurasia, giraffids such as Paleotrigus, Chancitherium, and Samotherium lived after their appearance 14 million years ago. The frontal cavities were smaller and the skulls of these animals were wider. 9. 10. The Okapi and Paleotrigus are likely related species. According to some researchers, the Okapi lineage split apart earlier, before Giraffacrix. Samotherium was a crucial transitional fossil in the evolution of the giraffe because its cervical vertebrae were between those of a modern giraffe and an Okapi in length and structure, and its neck posture was probably comparable to the latter. Balenia, which initially appeared in Southeast Europe and lived between 9 and 7 million years ago, was most likely the giraffe's direct progenitor. Balenia had a tall neck and legs as well as similar ossicones and teeth to current giraffes. Balenia invaded China and northern India and gave rise to the giraffe, which arrived in Africa around 7 Maya. The African giraffes survived and gave rise to new species, whereas the Asian giraffes were driven to extinction by climate change. Living giraffes are thought to have first appeared in eastern Africa around 1 Maya during the Pleistocene. Some biologists contend that G. Jumi is the ancestor of modern giraffes, but others believe G. Gracilis is a more plausible contender. G. Gracilis was smaller and more slender, but G. Jumi was larger and more robust. It is thought that the evolution of giraffes was primarily influenced by the shift from dense forests to more open habitats, which started 8 million years ago. Around this time, dry savannas arose in eastern and northern Africa as well as western India. Tropical plants vanished and were replaced by arid C4 species. 
Some scientists have proposed that this new environment, together with a distinct diet that included acacia species, may have exposed giraffe ancestors to poisons that accelerated evolution and mutation rates. Perhaps about the same time as these ecological changes, modern giraffe coat patterns also changed. It is believed that Asian giraffes may have had more okapi-like coloring. The giraffe genome is approximately 2.9 billion base pairs long, but the okapi genome is 3.3 billion base pairs long. 19.4% of the proteins encoded by the giraffe and okapi genes are the same. The giraffe and okapi lineages split approximately 11.5 mi ago. The giraffe's height and related circulatory adaptations appear to be caused by a limited collection of regulatory genes. Characteristics Giraffes are 4.3 to 5.7 meters tall when fully grown, with males being taller than females. An adult guy weighs 1,192 kilograms, while an adult female weighs 828 kilograms. Its torso is only slightly longer than its lengthy neck and legs. 66 the skin can be up to 20 millimeters thick and is primarily gray or tan. The long, dark hair at the end of the 80 to 100 centimeter tail serves as protection from insects. The coat contains light hair, typically white or cream in color, surrounding dark blotches or patches that might be orange, chestnut, brown, or practically black. As they age, male giraffes develop a deeper color. In the light and shadow patterns of savanna woods, the coat pattern is said to act as camouflage. They are difficult to see from even a few meters away when you are surrounded by plants and trees. To get the greatest view of an oncoming predator, adult giraffes roam around, depending more on their stature and capacity for self-defense than on camouflage, which may be more crucial for calves. Each giraffe has a distinct pattern on its coat. Some coat pattern qualities are passed down to calves from their mothers, and variations in certain spot traits are linked to calf survival. Due to the extensive network of intricate blood vessels and huge sweat glands found there, the skin underneath the blotches may control the animal's body temperature. Given that the animal has a distinctive aroma from its parasite repellents, its fur may provide chemical defense. Although the fur contains at least 11 major aromatic compounds, the majority of the fragrance comes from indole and 3-methylindole. It might also serve a sexual purpose because men smell stronger than women do. Neck The giraffe's neck, which may reach a length of 2.4 meters, is incredibly long. Short, upright hairs make up the mane that runs along the neck. Although juveniles are closer to 70 degrees, the neck normally rests at an angle of 50 to 60 degrees. Instead of new vertebrae being added, the lengthening of the cervical vertebrae causes the long neck. The length of a cervical vertebra is more than 28 centimeters, 11 in. In comparison to the 27 to 33 percent typical of other giant ungulates, such as the giraffe's closest living relative, the okapi, they make up 52 to 54 percent of the length of the giraffe's vertebral column. Perhaps because giraffe moms would find it challenging to deliver young with the same neck proportions as adults, this elongation occurs primarily after birth. Large muscles and a nuchal ligament that are anchored by the giraffe's lengthy thoracic vertebrae spines, which give them a hump, support the animal's head and neck. The neck vertebrae of the giraffe have ball and socket joints. Contrary to most other ruminants, where the articulation lies between the seventh cervical vertebra, C7, and T1, the point of articulation between the cervical and thoracic vertebrae of giraffes is relocated to lay between the first and second thoracic vertebrae, T1 and T2. This makes it possible for C7 to directly contribute to longer necks, which has led to the theory that T1 is actually C8 and that giraffes have developed an extra cervical vertebra. This hypothesis, however, is not widely accepted because T1 has additional morphological characteristics that are considered diagnostic of thoracic vertebrae, such as an articulating rib, and because exceptions to the mammalian limit of seven cervical vertebrae are typically accompanied by increased neurological abnormalities and diseases. Regarding the evolutionary cause and upkeep of the elongation in giraffe necks, various theories exist. The competing browser's hypothesis, which was first put out by Charles Darwin, has just lately been refuted. It shows that the elongation of the neck was fostered by competitive pressure from smaller browsers, like as Kudu, Steenbach, and Impala, as it allowed giraffes to reach food that rivals could not. This advantage is real because even very huge competitors, like Kudu, can only feed up to roughly 2 m high. Giraffes can and do feed up to 4.5 m high. 
Additionally, research indicates that giraffes feed more effectively high in the canopy, gaining more leaf biomass with each mouthful, and that browsing competition is fierce at lower elevations. A 2010 study discovered that adult giraffes with longer necks actually experienced higher mortality rates during drought conditions than their shorter neck counterparts. However, scientists dispute about exactly how much time giraffes spend feeding at levels beyond the reach of other browsers. According to this study, having a longer neck necessitates more nutrients, which puts longer neck giraffes at danger in times of famine. Long necks are suggested to have developed as a secondary sexual trait by the sexual selection hypothesis, providing males an edge in necking competitions, see below, to establish dominance and gain access to sexually receptive females. Males don't use other types of warfare, and their necks are thicker and longer than those of girls their age, both of which lend credence to this notion. One criticism is that it doesn't address why female giraffes also have long necks. Additionally, it has been suggested that the neck aids in increasing the animal's alertness. Head Ossicones, which can grow to 13.5 centimeters, are large horn-like features shared by both sexes. They are made of ossified cartilage, have skin on top of them, and are joined to the skull at the parietal bones. Ossicones are vascularized and employed in male-to-male -male combat, where they may aid in thermoregulation. An adult male's ossicones tend to be knobby and hairless on top, whereas those of a female or young giraffe are slender and have tufts of hair on top. A giraffe's appearance is a reliable indicator of its sex or age. The middle of the skull develops a bulge, which is more noticeable in men. As men age, calcium deposits take the form of bumps on their heads. A giraffe's skull is lighter due to its many sinuses. But as men age, their skulls get heavier and more resembling a club, making them more dominating in battle. The animal can tip its head over 90 degrees and use its tongue to capture food from the branches immediately above it thanks to the occipital condyle's bones at the base of the skull. The giraffe's eyes, which are on the sides of its head, have a wide field of vision due to its enormous height. The eyes of giraffes are larger and have a larger retinal surface area than those of other ungulates, and their eyesight is more binocular. In addition to having great hearing and smell senses, giraffes can see in color. To possibly endure blowing sand, the nostrils are slit-shaped and the ears are movable. The tongue of a giraffe is around 45 centimeters long. It can grab vegetation and deftly pull off leaves. Its black color may be a sunburn defense. The hairy and flexible upper lip serves as a barrier against prickles. The front teeth of the upper jaw are replaced with a hard palate. The molars and premolars have broad surfaces and low crowns. A social life. The size and makeup of giraffe groups typically change according on ecological, human-caused, temporal, and social factors. These groups' membership has typically been defined as fluid and ever-changing. A group is described as a grouping of individuals that are less than a kilometer apart and going in the same general direction for research purposes. According to more recent research, giraffes form enduring social groupings or cliques based on kinship, sex, or other considerations, and these groups frequently interact with one another in larger communities or smaller sub-communities within a fission fusion civilization. Social arrangements might be upset by being close to people. There are several overlapping subpopulations of Maasai giraffes in Tanzania, and each one has a varied reproductive rate and calf mortality. A group of giraffes can have anywhere from 1 to 66 animals. Although mixed-sex groups made up of adult females and young males also exist, giraffe groups typically have sex divisions. Some female groups may have matrilineal ties. In general, females are more picky than males when it comes to who they socialize with when it comes to people of the same sex. Mother and child giraffe groupings, which can span weeks or months, are particularly stable. Young men will also organize into groups and get into play fights. Males do, however, tend to become more solitary as they age, though they can sometimes associate with other males or with groups of females. Although giraffes are not territorial, their home ranges do change depending on rainfall and proximity to populated areas. Male giraffes occasionally venture outside of their usual habitat. Early biologists believe giraffes lack the airflow necessary to vibrate their vocal folds, rendering them mute. 
Instead, it has been observed that they communicate by snorting, coughing, hissing, burping, moaning, grunting, growling, and making flute-like noises. Males cough loudly while courting. Bellowing is how females summon their babies. Bleats, mooing, and mewing noises are produced by calves. Hissing and snorting are signs of alertness. Giraffes seem to hum to one another at night above the infrasound range. The goal is not obvious. Men who are dominant make an upright display to other males, lifting their heads and chin high while striding stiffly and displaying their side. The less dominant demonstrate their submissiveness by lowering their chin, lowering their head, and running away.